Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to my channel. Welcome back. I hope you had a good new year and we're going to make some more cards today. So this is going to be a um, very similar card that I've made recently. So uh, this is the card that we're going to do. You're going to see on my uh, channel how I made this card already. But today we are going to make the same card in different colors. So you can see how changing colors is actually um, can influence your view and uh, you know it actually gives a different look to a card even though you use exactly the same products because when I started making cards I got stuck because I had one punch one stamp set and I was thinking oh this is boring because you know I can't do much and then I discovered that even changing a color it will give you quite a lot it will give you quite a lot of difference so stay tuned and I'm going to show you how to make this card today okay so now what we're going to start with this is a, a Stampin' Up! papers uh, it's standard A2 card yeah A2 I think 4 and 1 8 by 5 and a half and I've cut already the panel which is going to fit this card exactly here you go so we are going to stamp uh, a sentiment from a rose garden it's this uh, happiness blossom from within because it's flowers so we're going to do it and I'm going to use Stampin' Up punch uh, petite petal sponge in case you're just tuning in and I'm going to use VersaFine black to stamp it I'm going to start with a black ink to stamp the sentiment only because I need to make sure here you go that I know where is my space for the cards so you have to organize and uh, before I start any cards I organize what I have to do uh, first I cannot stamp because I'm going to use 3d form I cannot stamp when I already have the form because the stamp is not going to be clear that's why I'm starting with the stamp first okay so now let's do the punching and I'm going to start in the middle, not far away from the edge. Keep those flowers, I'll show you what to do with them. And over here. And another one. I don't tend to have any special measurements for that. All you gotta do is just try not to make them in the same line. Keep those flowers, I'm going to show you what to do with them later on okay so this is all we're going to do now I've got a twine this is a twine from my stash it's not exactly the same color but it fits it serves the purpose so double-sided tape oops double-sided tape okay so we're going to put the twine is going to go in the middle so I'm going to be aiming around this area to put okie dokie let me try this one thank you I've got my little helper today next to me he's playing on a computer say hello hello <laughs> so he's playing He's not crafting today with me, but you will see him soon. Definitely this year he's going to make some videos for kids as he makes his cards. And now we're going to take the twine and wrap it around. So I'm going to leave a gap. This is a very sticky double-sided tape. This is really sticky. So I'm going to wrap it around. And this time... Okay, this is too close. Wait okay so this is too close to my don't wrap it around too tight because you need some movement because i would like to have some uh, uh i would like to have a bow i'm going to add some bow okay and i'm going to have only three panels i like three i don't know why but i do like three so it's going to work fine for me 
this is too close so I can move it and this one will be here okay now chop all right perfect and this is what I wanted and this is going to go all the way over here so you have two options we can either stick it as it is or I'm going to do something else but because today I want to have a plain card so it's going to be double-sided sticky tape I'm going to use it and I'm not going to pop it on my 3d form Oops, I need, this is my special scissor just for glue, so I don't really mind. This is my glue scissors anyway. Okay, so this is going to go here. Yep, mm, this is going to go over here. Cool. And now I need to put some double-sided sticky tape on all of the pieces okay so I need to have it over here it's a tiny one in the corner I think this one is too big so we need to just chop it okay I'll put this one over here whoops Oops, looks like there's something happening in my town. It's really happening. And another one. Okay, what's happening over here? Here you go. And there's going to be one in the corner because I need to make sure that the corner stays still as well. So this is going to be in the corner as well. Mm -hmm, but this one is too long, so I'm going to chop. Okay, cool. Last one over here. Yeah, now it's fine. I can do it. Don't worry, I can do it. Yep, yeah, so now I'm going to start taking everything off to make sure that this tape is attached. Okay? If you want to skip this part and you don't like me, you don't want to see me taking off, that's fine. I haven't learned how to speed up my videos yet. Because my videos, I like to see everything. So even small mistakes are useful because you learn how to, um, <clears throat> how to correct them. Yeah. Yeah, all the mistakes. Okay, now let's go. And I always work from one side to the other. So I start usually from the top, taking all my papers because I have, uh, I work to the bottom and I don't want to, I don't want to put my fingers and my hands uh, to the sticky tape like I did over here. If I have too many of the sticky tape, I usually work from top to bottom so that I know where I'm working and I can see the papers and everything else, okay? Mm -hmm. Here you go. I'm almost done. Perfect. And now turn it around because this is the opening and I'm going to start sticking everything. Here you go. I'm going to stick this one all the way over here. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So now you can see there's a big difference between two of the cards. And I'm going to use um, pearls in the middle. Those pearls came with a pack, Sticker Mania. And I don't remember which pack I've used, but um, this is the pack I've used. I'm going to put some glue. Because I found this pack in my stash, which means that I haven't used it for some time. 
<laughs> and uh, I don't want the pearls to fall off so that's why I'm going to use some glue extra glue on top of it maybe a little bit more than this okay this glue is going to cl uh, dry clear so I don't mind if it goes on the sides a little bit okay perfect next one Mm -hmm. and I'm going to tidy up come on over here the, those pearls have a glue at the bottom but I don't trust this glue okay that's it and this is our card for today I was thinking to make a bow but I think I like it as it is you know and you can see this is the difference two of the same cards uh, I've tried to show you two of the same cards um, this one I left the border a little bit so you can see the border but two of the same cards two of the same panels uh, and only it's the background that is different and uh, you can see this is a huge eye catching some people will be drawn to this one other people will be drawn to that one but if you think that even though you have the same punch, the same stamps, uh, changing a color will give you a completely different uh, look on your projects. So white paper, just different colors, different ribbons, the same stamp set, the same thing, black, white and everything else. Uh, this is pop on a 3D form. So this is popped, this is not popped, so you can see the difference as well, how it looks like but both of them look absolutely amazing and um, thank you so much for coming please uh, press the notification button if you want to see more of the cards uh, to create with the same punch i already have a beautiful beautiful card with it um, so with all those flowers because i've got those flowers already i'm going to make another card so i don't like to waste my paper recycle and help the earth and i hope you enjoy it Please come back and I hope to see you soon. Bye!